Hello and welcome back to the Long Dark. Uh, when we last left off, we were still continuing to try to find the transition zone um, and some food because uh, we were running low. We decided against heading back to our base at the camp office um, just to forge ahead. And um, we got into the set of trailers that was in the, uh, the logging camp. So let's, uh, here we are, we just woke up, so let's, um, let's drink a little bit, okay, and uh, we have a little bit of hunger, but it's not too bad, I'm not going to worry too much about it, uh, we got to eat a bunch of stuff out of this trailer. Uh, yesterday anyway, so let's, uh, let's head out the door. Hopefully the wolf that's here is not <laughs> prowling immediately outside. Now, if you remember from last video, there were two wolves in this area. one thing that I have to do first, and that is we're running low on, uh, we're running low on water. So, let's, um, let's start up a fire, and we'll boil up and, uh, you know, we'll melt and boil just a little bit of water. Um, and that way, once that's done, we can, um, we can just, uh, head on out from there. Not only that, but that'll take care of part of the cold situation that we have right now. Um, we got two hours of cold. And, um, and so it, it would be rather chilly for us to, uh, for us to be moving around. So let's, oh, they changed the interface just a little bit. So let's melt some snow. Looks like I made it through another night. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. About two tenths of a gallon at a time. Yes. Okay. Well, there's three minutes left. Let's just melt whatever little bit of snow we can. And then, uh... Okay, so... It's a little cold, but not too bad. Let's just eat one of these to, uh... Okay, so <clears throat> we came down from the camp. Uh, in I think that direction. So let's head this way. Uh, 
it's still pretty cold out here. So let's get a move on. Okay, so... a road that goes out of here. Just right here. Alright. Oh. <coughs> oh, and this is the... Okay, this is the, the railway right here. More crows. More crows means more dead things. So, here's another dead body. Oh, he's got absolutely nothing on him. down by the river. So the question is, okay, we're getting, like, freezing cold. Ah. That's two bodies. No, that's a deer right here. Okay. That's always good news. Uh, yeah, we're freezing now. So let's, um, let's start up the fire right here. Do we have any accelerant? We do. <coughs> Uh, let's see. <coughs> let's melt some snow. And then we'll boil some water. Okay, and then we should be able to cook a little bit of coffee. <clears throat> okay. This is weird. The, the interface thing is sort of... <clears throat> it's like the highlight is gone off of it. Um, uh, maybe that's intentional. It seems very dark. Uh, it seems very dark, though, compared to everything else. Like, it's just a... Like a... Uh, I don't know. You have survived for it. It's very dark against the background. I don't know. I'm not sure that that's intended. So, let's see what we're at. Okay, now this is also not correct, either. This is a this is a bug. And the cold continues to be there, even though it's not well. Okay, if I step away from the fire, 
Is it a matter of it's not updating, or is it a matter of it's... No, uh, it can't be telling me that that's what it's going to be when I get away from the fire, because that's, this is what it should be when it happens, so... Well, another thing that I can do here is let's eat some of this meat. <coughs> Um, okay, that's pretty much done. So let's let's head back up here. Um, into here, into the back hills, and look for the transition zone somewhere. And other things, too. I have never been back up here. <clears throat> you know, I've followed the ridge line. So let's see what's actually up here. Um, so... Now, I'm assuming that the transition zone out of here um, is on the edge. Um, <laughs> I'm just making that assumption here. Um, you know, and that it's not like a tunnel that, that goes down, like a hatch that goes down into the middle of the map and then ends up, you know, coming out somewhere. Um, that would be pretty funny, but, um, but anyway, so, okay, let's continue along the ridge line here. The other thing that I have to keep my eye out for is the little saplings. Um, you know, the bow and arrow making material. I've only seen them once, so I'm not sure that my eyes are... I'm not sure that my eyes can really recognize it just looking at it, but we'll see what happens. Um, I have a hard enough time looking for crow feathers. Oh, is that a winner? Mm, I don't think so. No. No, the boulder's right next to it. Well... No. It's 19 degrees, where did my breath go? Normally there's little puffs of breath. They took that out. I just noticed it. <coughs> So 
let's keep heading down here. more lumber on the ground over here, so... <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Ah, there's a wolf. It's interesting they changed the model on him. He's no longer completely black. Which <laughs> um which is not a help to the player. Beforehand, wolves really sort of stood out because they were one of the things that was like black against a white background. Now they're sort of grayish brown. And I wonder if that's I wonder if that's gonna make it that's probably gonna make it more difficult to see them right off the bat. You know, beforehand they were just like these black silhouettes, but now they're sort of grayish. They kinda of blend in a little better. Good for the wolves, bad for us. Sneak down here. Okay, so this really... Oh, there's another wolf over there. Crap. Well, I wanted to know where the two wolves were. Oh, and this is the bridge. Okay. Let me sneak over here. This is the... The the foot uh, the rail bridge that heads over to um, the Carter Dam. Oh, there's a deer. Can we run the deer? Oh. Can we run the deer into the wolf? Mm -hmm. And then take on the wolf. I don't know, but I'm not... That may actually happen anyway, but... Ah, uh, that does happen. Oh my goodness. Hello! food. Okay. Uh, let's do something first. Let's start up a fire right here. Come on. 
Okay, I can start up a fire on the deer, but I can't start up a fire anywhere around here? Is that really what you're saying? So let's head down here. <clears throat> let's start up a fire down here. I don't really want to use up my kerosene to do this. I don't have a whole lot of... Um, And for the first time in a little while, I'm actually pretty encumbered, so... Uh, let's forage for some wood. to have a big venison cook-off. inside of it. Uh, this is not good either. Someplace around here, there's probably a really pissed off wolf. He's probably pretty hungry, too. <sighs> At 
everything about this game. Here's the dilemma. The dilemma is... Carterville Dam is a good, safe... <laughs> it's not safe. It's a good place to go for shelter. Unfortunately... Probably has a wolf inside of it. That's not a good sound either. up there. Is that another deer? That's another deer. Let's hope that stays there tomorrow. <laughs> This is terrifying. This place is bigger. I can hear him. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. What happened? I'm gonna kill you! Ready? <sighs> Gross. 
great time for the the stupid torch to go out too. <laughs> Things are starting to look pretty grim. Yeah. The best thing I can hope for is that he got damaged enough that he's going to die. Because, boy, if this guy comes back, I am done for. I might as well just rest. Oh, I think he just died. <laughs> oh my god. Fight in the Carterville Dam. I left my lantern on. <sighs> okay. Let's go back. What's my condition? Forty one percent. Let's eat some. Mm. Okay. This is it. This is do or die right now. <clears throat> if the wolfie is dead, then this is going to be great news. Oh. That'll come in handy. Yes, that will come in handy. Holy cow. starting to get encumbered, but more importantly, <coughs> let's go find the wolf. Hopefully he is dead, because if he's not, Last game that we had came within uh, came within one percent of dying. This time we had came within five percent of dying. <coughs> oh, we've got the fur fire. Fourteen hours of daylight left, but that's not really gonna <clears throat> that's not really gonna make that much of a difference. Um because right now we're in the now we do not have our bedroll. Okay. So let's chill out right here. And let's do a couple of things. First of all, <clears throat> I have a bunch of stuff that can be harvested. <coughs> There's a wolf 
socks. Those are cotton socks. Cotton socks go away. Okay, these are a better pair of jeans, so we're going to wear those. We're going to get rid of the old ones. Harvest. <coughs> Those are a better pair of basic gloves. I'm gonna wear those. And where are our shoes? Right there. These are a better pair of basic boots, so let's wear those and we will harvest these. <coughs> That is it for clothing. As far as food goes, let's eat some more. Okay. Now let's look at tools for a little bit. Okay, these two torches can be harvested. Oh, we got a ton of stuff here. Fresh deer hide, cured leather. <coughs> okay, let's go exploring, starting from this room. The other problem with the dam now. I don't know that it was really a problem before, but it seems to be a problem now. Is that, um... Pinnacle peaches. Beef jerky. And a metal container with wood matches in it. Let's just check the area to make sure we're not missing anything. And then we'll head back. Is this a piece of firewood? Sure it is. Okay. <coughs> um, the problem with the dam, like I was saying, is that it's dark in here. Um, even during the daytime. In this room it's light. But in some of the rooms particularly when you head into the tunnels and stuff, it's dark. Kind of a problem, so... Oh, I do... I probably should check on top of these things, too. But, let's head over here first. the control room. Wow, that fight was really, really, really close. What is over here? Oh, this is a dead guy. Oh, he's got a hatchet. He's got painkillers. <coughs> and he's got nothing else. 
Yeah, the wolf model. Definitely much better looking. Like, I know the other one looked like a wolf. This one really looks like a wolf. So. Let's check up here. Nothing. Okay. Okay, it is time to head. It's time to head up the uh, up the tunnel again. Start our explorations there. That's right here. the wolf carcass. And yes, I know it's going to encumber me like crazy, but let's get this done. All this gear is slowing me down. How much gear is it? Oh, it's quite a bit, actually. Okay, so let's... Um, Eat a little bit, and we'll drink a little bit. No, oh, and that didn't do very much. Okay. This is going to be our curing room right here, so... I don't want to turn away first. Okay. So let's, um... Let's drop the fresh wolf pelt. Move over here. That's fresh gut. That's cured gut. So... Drop. Okay, let's back up a little bit. <coughs> let's drop down the fresh cure hide. One, two. Is there anything else that needs to be cured? No. Okay. Uh, let's pick up the bedroll. Let's crack the safe. Oops. That was pretty fast. Okay, so it's a uh, Five forty nine six forty nine or fifty, technically, I guess. Six fifty. 
There we go. <clears throat> Let's see what's in here. I could use this. Oh, that was a good find. Okay, so in the safe, the safe is going to store all of our uh, crafting equipment. also going to store all of our excess tools. Okay, it's also going to store extra food. Um, nah, need the food out of it. Okay. What have we here? Going through drawers here. Okay. Uh, it is really dark in here. Okay. Oh, sneaky. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Well, I'm finding plenty of rifle rounds. That's always a good thing. Now all we need is the rifle. <clears throat> Those are better than basic boots, so I'll be able to switch out my basic boots. Okay, we're getting to the end of the line here, as far as the for stuff goes. This is a treasure trove in here, but comes that'll with come in handy. And that's the part that's really uh, 
That's the part that's really not so good. And it looks like they've... I don't know if they've added more stuff in, but... for a moment. Okay. Uh, big drawer is going to have all of the food that we're not using right now. So that's all this. Um, we got to eat some of this crappy food. We also have to cook up some of the wolf meat. So, let's head down to the fire barrel. So you're probably wondering, why aren't you making your base down by the fire barrel? The answer to that question is, if a wolf happens to show up here, I want the ability to be able to run out of the building uh, if push comes to shove. Um, if I'm down here, there's no way I'm getting out of the building. Okay, here's the fire barrel. Okay, so we're going to uh, torch up a book. We use that to start a fire. And then, um... And then what we'll do is we'll cook up the wolf meat. Okay. Time to cook up some wolf meat. I'm gonna get a little tired too, but once we get tired and we go to sleep, I think we are going to We're gonna call it a video, as they say. dump some more fuel in here. There we go. It must be foggy outside or something because uh, that's Oh, that's heating it up. I don't want it to heat it up. Melt some more snow, I think. You know what? Let's do it. Let's melt some more snow. Just to, yeah. Just till the fire is gone. Okay. Gonna move everything upstairs. Into the workshop. Oops. see where the entrance is. There it is. It's very dark, but let's head over here and then um there we go. 
parcel drawer. Let's dump all of the wolf meat into it. And that. Oh no, we can't. Okay, that's it. Next, we are going to eat. Eat. Uh, let's drink. Fatigue is really high. Our thirst. Oh, our thirst is still up, so let's drink some water. Okay. And now, we're going to go to sleep. Uh, lay down the bed roll, and we're going to sleep for eight hours. And that's going to be, um,. That's going to be it for the video. Um, we'll wake up um, in the next video and then we'll go from there. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we've survived for 11 days now. Um, and uh, hope you've had uh, a good time watching it. Um, and I will see you next video.